Hello everyone and welcome back to another super simple tutorial on how to animate using open tunes. Okay, so today we're going to create this animation of this alien calling for help using the plastic tool. Okay, so we're not actually going to draw the alien, however, since we've already covered the basics, but you can download it below in the notes or you can use the draw tool and the fill tool. Okay, so since I've already done this animation, I need to delete my keyframes. To do that, I will go to Windows, Other Windows, Function Editor, and select the frames. And hit Delete. Okay, now if we check our animation, it's static. Now, the mesh we haven't created yet, so I'll delete that quickly. This alien, I've extended the exposure of the alien, so we'll do that as well. So once you import the alien, you'll need to increase the duration of the exposure by dragging down this little shape here. Okay, so we have the alien in place. And the first thing that we want to do is just select it here, select the plastic tool, which is located here. Now in the tool options bar, you'll see create mesh. So if we click create mesh, you can choose the density of the mesh, which, which affects how precisely we can place the bones. So that should be fine for today. Hit apply. Okay, so now we have a mesh on top of our alien. I'm going to increase the exposure of that mesh by dragging down the shape, the X sheet. Now to place the bones, click mode, build skeleton, place a bone down here, go up to the bottom of the rib cage, up to the clavicle or the top of the rib cage, neck, head, click here again, and we can build from that point create the arm. I'm not going to animate the hands today, so that should be fine. I'm just left clicking to place these points. Now I don't intend to animate the legs, but if I wish to place bones there, I can. I'm using the hand tool now, which you can find down here. I've created a shortcut by clicking customize, create shortcuts. Okay, now we have built the skeleton for our UFO. Now we can begin to animate. So again, if I select the plastic tool, up here in the mode area, we'll be able to select animate. So to create our first keyframe, click on these two points to confirm that there is a keyframe there. Now we're gonna go down to frame five in the X sheet and move the arms into position. So that will be our frame five. Now we'll go down to frame 10, move the arms to the next position. Now we want the arms to be in front of the head. So to change the order, we can click here beside SO. This arm on the left will be in front of the head. This arm here will be in front of both the head and this one, so it will be SO2. Now you can see it goes head, arm one, arm two. And we can actually animate this over time. So if I want this hand to be in front of this one later, I can do that by simply going to another keyframe and changing the number again. Okay, so let's go down to frame 15. I'm gonna go all the way down this time. And up to frame 20, which is where I want the animation to loop. So move it back to the starting position. And if I click render, we can check our animation. That's fine. Okay, oh, well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can also check my channel for more tutorials and not only in open tunes, but also in other free uh, software like Blender, Inkscape and many others. 
If you'd like to leave a comment below, let me know if there's another topic that you'd like me to create a tutorial on, or if you have any questions. Um, and otherwise, thank you very much. <laughs>